Hello guys and welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to fix when your WooCommerce checkout page doesn't show or doesn't apply the shipping method you configure in the WooCommerce settings page. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. So I have two shipping options enabled uh, on my WooCommerce website and the free shipping should be triggered whenever the order amount is over $30. However, when I go to the checkout page and I will refresh it as you can see over here, it's over $30. However, the flat rate shipping is being applied and not the free shipping as it should be because I already crossed the $30. And as you can see here, whether you go to the cart or the checkout, we can't see the free shipping option, only the paid flat rate shipping. So let's see what is going on over here. Let's go to shipping zones. And as we can see, we have two separate shipping methods to the same shipping zone and that overwrite each other. As you can see, they both go to North America, but I created separate methods to them both. So that's going to trigger each other and only one of them can be activated. So we need to fix it. So first of all, let's delete the free shipping uh, method and I will be left with a flat rate shipping rate. And that flat rate shipping rate, it's the $7.75 I adjusted earlier. We'll go back to our screen. And let me close the other one, there you go. And now we'll click on edit for this shipping zone, right? It's the North America shipping zone with a flat rate. Now we'll change the name because it's not the flat rate anymore. There are multiple uh, rates. One of them will be the free and one of them is already uh, configured. So let's an add a shipping method. This time we'll select free shipping and we will enable free shippings for all orders above $30. Once we saved it, let's go back to our cart and we can see right now there is only one shipping enabled. But after refreshing the page, we can see that the free shipping method was added. Same with the checkout page and they can choose the free shipping method. Now, if you would like to uh, create the free shipping as the default option for all orders above $30, what we will need to do is just to reorder the shipping methods and drag the free shipping to the top. And now once uh, the customer reach the minimum threshold, the free shipping option will be applied automatically to the order, just like so. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please also like, share and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.